guys, I'm Disha. Welcome back to my channel, and I have another video for y'all. In case you want to check out my last video, it will be here on the I icon. It's gonna pop up on your screen now. I did a playlist during the Bali. There are four videos in it, so make sure you watch that. And about today's video, I'm sure y'all must have read the title. I'm reviewing the Miss Claire Long Lasting Matte Lipstick. Now, this is not uh, what y'all usually see. It is not the whole. Um, brush one this is the new packaging this is the new uh, matte lipstick that they've come out with and it's in the shade burgundy it's on my lips right now i have been wanting to get this lipstick since a very long time i think since the time marsala came out um and also since the time i've seen caution as well about it i am in love with it i was really skeptical about how it's going to look on my skin but i'm in absolute love with it i just love how dark it is and it gives a very strong and confident look which i am absolutely in love with uh, so to start with it i have raided the internet but i have not found out the base of miss claire actually because a few years back there was no miss claire and suddenly it's come out and they are products are selling like hot cakes um, i have heard i've not really read so don't take my word on this but i've heard that this is uh, they've just rebranded vov to miss claire so I'm not sure about that. Moving on, uh, this retails for 190 rupees in Matunga. This is like a dark maroon plus brown with a little tint of purple in it, which makes it really dark and suitable. Because I think um, only brown might not look good on me, and only maroon also might not look good. But this fits perfect. This is the burgundy color, and this is it. Basically, I found my my best shade that I would love to wear. Uh, I've actually worn it quite a few times, uh, more than three times actually. Coming back to the packaging, I really love it. It comes in this um, cube form, and once you open it, this is from where the lipstick comes out. Now I'm sure you all must be wondering that why is this in such a bad shape? Hold on, let me open it. Yeah. So this is how my lipstick actually looks right now. So I have a story to tell you all about this. So the night I got it home, I was supposed to go out and I applied it because obviously I can't wait to use them. So I applied it and then uh, I came back home. I removed it and I was extremely happy with it. So I opened it all the way to see how much product is there in it, and it's pretty soft. Okay, like the packaging is matte, so it slipped out of my hand and it broke. Not in half, but in three fourth and one fourth. So it broke and I don't know how and why, but it started melting. So even when I picked up the broken piece and I tried to put it back in, it was slipping out of my hand. I had lipstick all over my fingers and it was a very bad mess. So I tried to put it back inside and then um, some of you might be knowing that you can melt the lipstick on both sides and then you can fix it back in, freeze it and then it's ready. So that's what I did. I went over um, the gas and then I melted it on both sides. I tried to fix it. It worked perfectly fine. I froze it for a night and then in the morning it was just perfect. But um, now it's breaking again from the same part where it already broke. So I have noticed that my other lipsticks don't do this. I mean, obviously I don't keep my lipsticks under the in the AC or in the fridge all the time. But they all don't melt like this. But this is melting and it's becoming very creamy and it is becoming a little difficult to handle. So I'm not sure why this is happening. But uh, the first time I tried it, the texture was brilliant. It was extremely smooth and very creamy, and it glided very well on my skin, on my lips. So it was great. That's why I bought it. So I'm gonna put a picture here of how it broke first, and then how I melted it, and then how I fixed it. So in case any of you didn't understand how and what am I talking about, then please leave a comment. I would love to do a tip video on how I fix my lipstick. So even you guys can. Do it with your lipsticks in case you'll have faced the same problem. Now the duration of how long this lipstick stays on my lips. Uh, a few days back, I wore it out for lunch, and um, it lasted for about four to five hours. I wore it. I had my lunch. I sipped on some mocktails, and even then, it stayed. It did not move. Uh, of course, it became a few shades lighter. But I didn't find the need to reapply it or touch it up or anything. I was very happy with how long it worked. And uh, once it's up there, it doesn't smudge and it mattifies instantly. It takes about three or four seconds for it to mattify completely, and then it stays. It's just there. You don't have to worry about it. It's highly pigmented, so sometimes what I can do is I just apply it on the upper half of my lip, like on my upper lip, and then. I just do this, so it transfers onto my lower lip, and then it fixes itself. I really don't find the need to go on 
both the sides of my lips so I think it's a great uh, way to save lipstick and uh, yeah I'm really happy that I bought it I'm definitely gonna go and buy the other shades uh, that's it for this video guys I hope you like this review if there's anything else that you want to ask or anything of that sort then please leave it in the comment section below also I'm planning to do and ask uh, like a Q&A video next week so please leave your questions either on Twitter or Instagram my social ID names would be uh, down in the description bar or y'all can even leave a question over here there's no problem with that and uh, yeah that's about it i will see you in my next video bye